We are standing outside the Janáček Theatre, home of the National Ballet Company here in Brno, a building which is all too familiar with great production quality. My name is Toriso Mahonga, a paramount member of the ballet company, but for this documentary, I'm going to be your host. We are about to embark on an exciting journey following the iconic ballet of Swan Lake, or as we call it here in the Czech Republic, Labuji Yazero. We are now sitting with the man of the hour, choreographer Mr. Robert Streiner, a man who speaks about six or seven languages, but the language that he speaks the best is the language of classical ballet. Mr. Streiner, welcome to Brno. Thank you for the invitation. Labuti is for me one of the most classic ballet, because it's not old-fashioned and it's not modern. To znamená, to musí být pravdě. A tady všichni Epolma je. Epolma, se dívám. Epolma, to je velký, to není takový ušmudlání. To je, stojím a stojím, se podívám. To je profil. První mé setkání s Robertem bylo v roce 99 na prvním nastudování Labutího jezera mm -hmm. a první, to jsem dostal roli knížete Rodbarta. Co si pamatuju nejvíc, mi říkal, pro boha svatého, jenom nedělej Labutí ruce, protože máš ruce jako lopaty. <laughs> so right now we're standing in the middle of the auditorium. For now it's an empty auditorium, but in a few days time, all eyes are going to be here, eager to see Robert Strainer's reworked version of Swan Lake. Now, today is the first day that all the dancers come to the theater, familiarize themselves with the new production. New sets, new costumes, fast changes, and organizing themselves around the theater. So, we're going to anticipate a lot of falling, musical mistakes, and all sorts of theatrical problems. But that's all in the name of good theater. For now, we're gonna stay tuned as we watch Swan Lake. Když jsem pracovala s Robertem Strainerem, tak on mě posunul o strašně moc levelů nahoru. Strašně mě pomohl vůbec do mé další kariéry. Vlastně z těch jeho připomínek jsem čerpala celou tu dobu a teď využívám ty připomínky, se snažím jako baletní mistr, když pomáhám vytvářet roli Odety Odilie těm dalším tanečnicím. I'm now standing next to the creative genius behind our gorgeous sets, Mr. Peter Horn. Welcome to Brno. Thank you very much. And you know, it's not the first time I've been here because I did the Nutcracker for you a couple of years back now. What was your inspiration behind these new sets? Well, the thing is, I'm a very ancient person and I only do sort of very classical, traditional ballet design, really. I do some modern things and I paint in a very modern style, but what I do for the theater is very much classical ballet design. It's all legs and borders, it's soft, it's contourable, it's yeah. all those things. And it's not just a box with a bunch of doors in it, which you see so often nowadays. Yeah. co je zvláštního. A pro mě každý, kdo stojí na tom jeviště, není zbor. Jsou všichni solisti. To, to znamená, že každý něco musí ze sebe dát. Každý má svůj osobnost. A zvlášť ve, ve druhém, ve všichni jednání, tam není zbor, oni musí všichni spolu, ale každý musí být jiný s tím, že tam není odeta a zbor labutě, protože ona vychází z toho, od svých přítelů, od těch labuť se stává eh, něco jiného, něco zvláštního, potká náhodou to prý. And so our Swan Lake story continues. Today marks the second day since production moved into the theatre. Today is also the general rehearsal. This is a very, very important day. 
all the dancers get to be on stage and do exactly what they're going to be doing at the premiere. This means full orchestra, makeup, hair, the works. Everything is as it's going to be when we say lights, camera and action. So without further ado, let's go on stage and see what is going on. So we're now in my favorite part of the theater, Maskerna. Now, next to me, I have Katarzyna, who's our fantastic makeup artist, who will tell us a few things about makeup and ballet. Now, in Swan Lake, we have many characters. We have Odette, Odile, the boys in the first act. We have many characters. Which is the most interesting to do makeup for? Tak v ledu tím jezeře je to hlavně Rod Bart, protože tam my jako maskérky se můžeme hlavně vyřádit a je to nejsilnější v charakter v ledu tím jezeře. Amazing. Ano. You have me. Now there is a lot of activity happening into the theater right now. We have quick changes, we have tempest flaring, some people controlling themselves, but it's all as I call it showtime. So right now, as we can see, Barushka is preparing to go into Neapolitan dance, right? right? How many times did you have to change your hair already, headdress today? Twice so far. Twice? Wow. And how long does it take normally to change your headdresses? It's very fast, actually. Yeah? Yeah. I think, you know, after a while, you get used to it, so it's not so stressful for you. But I cannot imagine having to dance and change the headdresses. For the boys, it's much easier because the boys have like a shapka. They have a hat and uh, it's, it's, a, it's a simple transition, you know. These are the iconic swan head pieces. They're very, they're, there's not much to them, but when you see them on stage, and when you think of the heritage behind this little simple thing, it's quite amazing. Now the backstage area is what I call church to a ballet dancer. This is where your nerve gets exercised. This is where you pray and this is where all the action takes place. This is one of our beautiful charismatic dancers, Carolina. Carol, what are you getting ready for? For polish. I'm happy to polish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm standing next to one of my beautiful colleagues, Isabella. What is this? What, what, what character are you now? I am the Italian bride. The Italian bride. Yes. She's actually Italian, so that just works out for you, right? Yes. How are you finding your new costume? Oh, this is very comfortable. Yeah? Here comes the bride. Old. And I absolutely love the tiara. I love the sparkles. I think it's going to look absolutely incredible. Balance mezi orchestrem a tanečníky, jevištěm, ať už se jedná o operu nebo balet, je vždy velká výzva pro dirigenta. A vlastně je to naše práce spojovat to, co se děje nahoře na jevišti, to, co vidí, to, co vidí divák a to, co vlastně doprovází a vytváří celý, celý, celý hudební charakter. A já si to velice užívám, protože je to zase úplně o něčem jiném než opera, než doprovod zpěvu, doprovod tance a spolupráce mezi tancem a, a hudbou je krásná. So right now I'm with our costume designer. He is absolutely fantastic. He's an absolute sweetheart and he makes us all look amazing. Moje inspirace byla, když jsme se poprvé sešli s Robertem v kavárně, hned jsme si dali lahev bílého vína a potom šla inspirace hned, domluvili jsme se, že vlastně se necháme inspirovat vídeňským dvorem, Schönbrunn, Sisi. Potom jsem přišel domů, prolistoval jsem si vlastně dobovou módu, otevřel jsem si další plašku vína a šlo to samo. Ano. Moje nejoblíbenější kostým je Odeta Odílie, je to hlavní postava. Máme tady ukázku. Kostýmy jsou velice bohatě zdobený aplikacemi a kameny, tak aby vlastně potrhly charakter postavy zlá a hodná. Komplikovaný to bylo v tom, že vyrábíme baletní kostým a všechny baletky pořád mají nějaký problém, něco je velký, něco je malý, něco škrtí, takže se museli udělat vlastně, jsou to všechny kostýmy, jsou šité na míru. A komplikovaný to je v tom, aby jsme vyhovili všem tanečnicím, aby se v tom cítili pohodlně a komfortně. Yeah, yeah, I understand. You know, as, as dancers, we are very complicated. We always want something to fit specifically. We want to tug and pull and then we get on stage and 
you cannot breathe because everything is too tight. So you have to always think of those things when you're asking the costume designer to alter or to, you know, to make you look snatched. A quick word about yesterday's rehearsal. So in the true spirit of the first rehearsal on stage, there was lots of action happening. We saw Robert Striner running and literally taking the girls and moving them, putting on in different places. It was hysterical. Ruggieri was standing there going, live, live, live. Gustavo Bacera standing on the side of the stage, sweating more than all the dancers. But you know, this is how it happens on stage. And I'm hoping that we're gonna get glimpses and shots of all of that happening. I love watching dancers on stage in the first rehearsal because it's almost like learning to walk again for the first time as you're trying to find your costume and ah, and music and steps and ah. so yeah let's just think mm, swan lake be poised be elegant but the truth is no it's a mess <laughs>